सो हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू आवर चैनल एंड इन द लास्ट वीडियोज वी हैव लेफ्ट विद थ्री इंपॉर्टेंट काइंड ऑफ पैरामीटर्स वी हैव सॉल्व थ्री इंपॉर्टेंट काइंड ऑफ पैरामीटर्स दैट इज Z parameters, Y parameters, H parameters. Okay. Now we have left with one single parameter. Now, okay. After that, we are going to wind the parameters part, and we have one more topic that is relationship between these parameters that we are going to discuss, and that is also an interesting topic and sure question from that relationship between all four kind of parameters how they are interrelated. Okay. That is one parameter we are going to combine using all three parameters and let us see what what relationship is obtained. that part is also there after that this chapter is over okay this chapter is ended that is the two port networks of all the parameters and all the chapters are end this chapter would be ending and after that we are going to start with one more chapter in this module that is resonance part in that resonance also we are having one is series resonance and one is parallel resonance okay so yeah so without wasting much time we are going to discuss now one last kind of parameter that is a b c d parameter or T parameter, or we can say that transmission parameter. T stands for transmission parameter. Why this name has got A B C D? Because why? Because here we can even write A equal to T one one, B equal to T one two, C equal to T two one, and D equal to T two two. So that's why this parameter has got the name A B C D parameter. Okay? So yeah. So now let us discuss this A B C D parameter. these parameters are known as transmission parameters they are used in analysis of power transmission here input port is the selling end and output port is the receiving end these are obtained by expressing input voltage v1 and current i1 at the input port okay that is v1 and i1 in this case are uh, dependent variables and in terms of voltage v2 and current i2 at the output port that is in terms of that is v1 and i1 are in terms of they are the functions of v2 and minus i2 okay this is one change here in transmission parameters a b c d parameters we have the negative current because the output port is the receiving end okay not the selling end it is getting received so that's why we are having one of the independent variable as minus i2 that is v1 and i1 are the functions of v2 and minus i2 respectively so this is one change keep it in mind here i2 is equal to minus i2 so now we can represent in this equation form that is v1 is equal to a v2 or we can write t11 v2 okay it is one and the same i have just replaced a equal to t11 so v1 is equal to a v2 minus b i2 not plus because here we have minus i2 right so a v2 minus b i2 and i1 is equal to c v2 or t21 v2 minus d into i2 or minus t22 i2 okay these are the set of equations now our goal is again to find the individual values of a b c and d okay how the values of a b c and d are obtained that is the value of a is obtained in this equation when i2 equal to 0 okay when i2 equal to 0 oh so this is plus okay minus plus it's one is the same because if this becomes zero the minus sign also would be going right yeah so when this i2 equal to zero we would be getting a as v1 by v2 and similarly when v2 equal to zero we would be getting b as v1 by minus i2 okay when v2 equal to zero what we would be getting b equal we would be getting b as minus v1 by i2 not plus v1 by i2 be careful you would be getting minus v1 by i2 okay keep it thoroughly in your mind minus sign is there when v2 equal to 0 similarly for c when i2 equal to 0 we would be getting i1 by v2 and for d when v2 equal to 0 we have your minus sign so that's why we would be getting minus of i1 by i2 when v2 equal to 0 so these two terms are negative here that is b and d observe carefully b and d are negative one is minus v1 by i2 and one is minus i1 by i2 for v2 equal to 0 both the conditions are for v2 equal to 0 whenever v2 equal to 0 the values of the uh, particular parameter that is b and d are negative okay keep it in mind this is only for t parameter uh, in only t parameters we are having some negative signs so that's why you should be keep uh, Yeah, following it very carefully with the signs. If you mess up with the sign that is plus and minus, the whole problem will go wrong. So okay, so please 
go thoroughly so get this rule straight in your head try to understand it then only try to solve complex problems okay so here in this t parameters i'm going to solve only one problem because uh, the time is not sufficient so in this video i'm going to, only i'm completing this t parameters and in the next video i'm going to start with the interrelationship okay so let us solve only one problem we have now let us solve that so this is that problem related to t parameters okay Again, we are going to apply the definitions and solve this problem. Okay. So again, let's apply the definition and solve this problem. This problem again, this is the circuit and here we need to be finding the T parameters. Okay. First condition, let us apply first condition that is, let us take I2 equal to 0 and find the values of A and C. Okay. First, let us do that when take I2 equal to 0. So when we take I2 equal to 0, no changes in the circuit. Okay, the circuit remains the same. Okay, since we don't have any current source, we are having in terms of loops here. So that's why no change. Okay, so I've named the loops here I1, I2 and I3 respectively. And here we can see that I3 is equal to here since this is one current source, dependent current source. And these two are having two opposite directions. So I3 we can write first as minus 5 I1. Okay, I3 is equal to minus 5 I1. So write that and proceed. Now again the same thing apply KVL and solve this problem and find the appropriate values of A and C. Okay. Apply KVL for first loop that is the equation what we will be getting V1 then we have minus 2 I1 plus sorry minus 3 V2 is equal to 0. Right. So this is one equation we got. So further we cannot simplify this so keep this equation as it is and name it as equation 1. Now apply KVL for loop. I2 here okay. That is this loop that is V2. Then we have this 5 ohm that is minus 5 into I2 plus I3 is equal to 0. Right that is V2 minus 5i2 minus 5i3 equal to 0 we know the value of i3 right uh, we have written that is equal to minus 5i1 so v2 minus 5i2 minus 5 into minus 5i1 equal to 0 so v2 minus 5i2 minus minus plus 5 5 is at 25 i1 that is equal to 0 okay But here I2 equal to 0 right in this problem. So our I2 term gets cancelled. We would be left with V2 plus 25 I1 equal to 0. So here we have we can find this value of C here. If you observe here C value consists of I1 and V2 terms. So here we have I1 and V2. So V2 is equal to bring this plus 25 I1 to other side that would be minus 25 I1. But we needed I1 by V2. So I1 divided by v2 then bring this v2 to other side here 1 is there and this minus 25 you bring it to other side that is equal to minus 1 by 25 so our answer is i1 by v2 is what c right so c is equal to minus 1 by 25 or we can write this c as t21 okay it's one and the same t21 or c so we have found one thing now next thing is our goal is to find a for i2 equal to 0 that is the one equation should be consisting of v1 and v2 terms right so how we can solve that so if you observe carefully here this first equation only we can solve here we have the terms v1 and v2 but this i1 is obstructing us how to write this i1 in terms of v, uh, v1 or v2 so if you observe this equation carefully here we can write i1 in terms of v2 by solving this that is i1 you keep it to one side bring v2 to other side that is minus v2 divided by 25 okay so this is the value of i1 substitute this i1 back in equation 1 so that we would be getting the whole equation in terms of v1 and v2 and we can solve for a right so equation 1 is equal to v1 then minus 2 into what is the value of i1 v2 by 25 minus 3 v2 equal to 0 right v1 minus minus plus 2v2 by 25 minus 3v2 equal to 0. Okay. So v1 then solve this 2 by 25 minus 3. 2 
25 3 is 75 then what is the value here 2 minus 75 that is minus 73 right so that is equal to minus 73 by 25 v2 equal to 0 right if you bring this term to other side that would be plus 73 by 25 v2 so here now we need what v1 by v2 right so that is equal to v2 i brought it to other side the answer is 73 by 25 that is v1 by v2 is what a a is equal to 73 by 25 so this is the value of t11 or a that is 73 by 25 we have found two values one is a and one is c now apply the second condition that is v2 equal to 0 and solve for b and d okay so next condition is v2 equal to 0 right so that only i have done here I have reduced this circuit and rotate that is for this we have made V2 equal to 0 here. So what we would be getting these two equivalent impedance would be gone here that is equal to 0. So here I have made it V2 equal to 0. Then here rest of the things I have made it and rotate it here. And here if you observe carefully here you can still reduce this circuit because V2 equal to 0. So this whole thing would be getting gone here. So here what we would be left with. We don't have any source here. This would be complete short circuited here. So I am not going to rewrite the circuit again. Assume that this is short circuit. Okay. Yeah. So like this I have reduced this for V2 equal to 0. Now apply mesh analysis. So here in loop 2 if you observe here. Directly we can write we have one current source. What we can write. So even the loop direction is also same. So I2 we can directly write as 5I1. Okay. So this is one conclusion no need to apply mesh, mesh for this loop mesh analysis only for this loop now for loop i1 apply mesh analysis that is start from this v1 plus v1 then outward sign minus 2 i1 so here we don't have any dependent source right it we have short circuited so that much only that is equal to 0 right so solve this v1 is equal to 2 i1 okay but here this is not the part here since uh, in order to find the value of B and D, we have the term V1, but in along with V1, we have I2 here, if you observe very carefully. Okay, now this I1, we should be representing in terms of I2 in order to get the value of B, right? So with this equation we can use, that is we can represent I1 in terms of I2, that is keep I1 to one side, I2 and phi you bring it to other side, that would be I2 divided by phi. So now substitute this in this equation, that is V1 is equal to 2 into i1 value is i2 by 5 so v1 is equal to 2 i2 by 5 but what we needed v1 by i2 right i2 i brought it to other side and we are left with only 2 by 5 but actually we did not we should not be needing v1 by i2 if you observe carefully what we need minus v1 by i2 right so for t parameters this is one difference that you should be very carefully observing that is the sign here for v2 equal to 0 is minus so after solving for v1 by i2 after this last step put one minus sign in both the sides okay both sides you put minus okay so that what we would be getting our value of minus v1 by i2 as minus 2 by phi okay so what is minus v1 by i2 is equal to my b right so that is equal to minus 2 by 5 be very carefully i'm i've told you right this t parameters is all the uh, what to say game of signs that is plus minus you should be thoroughly and you should be seeing that no uh, signs are getting uh, replaced okay the for b and d we are having minus sign so at the last step you should be adding minus okay so this is the value of b here Similarly now next thing is to find the value of D. So now one equation it would be consisting of the terms I1 and I2. So how we can be doing here if you observe carefully this equation only V1 and I1 we have an I1 term but this V1 now we should be representing in terms of I2. So again the same use this equation bring V1 to one side minus V1 is equal to minus 2I2 so I brought this I2 here by 5 minus minus goes so we would be left with v1 is equal to 2i2 by 5 right so now this i am substituting in this equation that is what is v1 let us name this as equation 1 v1 equal to 2i1 so what is v1 here 2i2 by 5 is equal to 
to y1 okay so what we needed here i1 by i2 right so i1 divided by i2 so this i2 i brought it here so here we have 2 by 5 already and this 2 i am dividing it again so 5 into 2 so that is equal to 2 by 10 is equal to i1 by i2 2 1s are 2 5s are how this 10 it becomes uh, you understood right since if you bring this to the numerator side that would be 1 by 2 so that would be equal to 2 by 10 and solve this that would be getting 1 by 5 so what is i1 by i2 equal to i1 by i2 is equal to 1 by 5 okay since we have minus i1 by i2 put minus on both sides so now what is minus i1 by i2 equal to d so our value of d is equal to minus 1 by 5 okay so like this we got the all the values of our a b c d parameters so write the value set of t that is the first value is a that is 73 by 25 and next is b minus 2 by 5 next is c minus 1 by 25 d minus 1 by 5 okay so like this way we are going to be solving for t parameters so i have uh, solved this one problem here okay hope this is clear so that's all for this session guys we have done with all the parameters and uh, all four kind of parameters we have solved and one more topic is left that is uh, the relationship between all these four parameters okay that would be taking us a lot of time i'm going to do four separate sessions for that for four different parameters four sessions okay so what's that because uh, one question is fixed from that topic that is interrelationship that is representing one parameters in terms of uh, other three parameters okay so um, i'm going to uh, take four different sessions for that so uh, be ready for that and that's all for this part this part is over that is all the four parameters understanding it and uh, analyzing and solving the critical networks of two port networks is done and uh, t parameters are also finished so now in the next session we are going to see the relationship okay so that's all guys like this video and share this playlist to a huge number thank you